When putting in a bird friendly garden, it's tempting to use those big showy native plants like the large flower grevilleas. However, it's really important that we grow diverse gardens that provide habitat for a lot of the smaller Australian birds as well. We need to put in some spiky leaf plants and a perfect example is this prickly Moses, which provides perfect sort of protection for a lot of those smaller Australian birds for their day-to-day -day life as well as for their nesting. Prickly Moses, Acacia ulicifolia, is a perfect example of a locally native wattle for the Sydney region that's fantastic for helping out our small birds. Insects are attracted to its flowers and these are a food source for small insect eaters. And its prickly foliage also provides shelter for species such as the superb fairy wren and silver eye. The spiky cover also makes it a great nesting site for small birds like the red-browed finch. This plant grows well in temperate and subtropical areas of Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania. It's perfect for informal screening and while its prickly foliage makes it an ideal habitat plant for small birds, it is very spiky. So avoid planting it where there's lots of foot traffic or consider planting a row of shrubs in front of it as a barrier. Many of these spiky leafed shrubs are understory plants that grow under big gum trees in their natural habitat. So they're perfectly happy in a bit of light shade in your garden. But when they're given full sun, they can really become showy feature plants. The prickly Moses has masses of these small ball-shaped wattle flowers, as well as the prickly foliage. And it really adapts well to quite a wide range of soil types, provided you've got reasonable drainage. And it'll grow to a useful height of about 1.5 to 3 metres, where the birds can really access it. Acacias belong to the legume family, which means that they have bacteria in their roots that are able to fix nitrogen from the air and use it as a nutrient. As a result, they're great pioneer plants for starting off your gardens. They grow quickly and don't need to be fertilised. Another great reason to include them in your garden. Unlike most woody Australian plants, wattles do not usually respond well to heavy pruning. To be on the safe side, it's a good rule of thumb not to cut into wood any thicker than a pencil. But if they do get a bit leggy, you might want to give them a light trim. But make sure that you wear gloves and long sleeves because the prickly foliage can sometimes cause allergic reactions to your skin. The spiky foliage of prickly Moses provides the perfect option for creating protection for our small birds. But growing a bird-friendly garden is more than just putting in one or two plants. To provide the complete habitat for a whole range of birds, we need layers, from ground covers to small and median shrubs, and even trees if you've got the space. For more ideas, go to the Creating Places page on the Birds in Backyards website. Enjoy the journey.